Number 10, Mr. Creepypasta. Mr. Creepypasta is the most overrated sack of shit on the planet. He's gone monotone lately, and I'm pretty sure he eats children on his spare time. Number 9, Miss Shadow Lovely. Uh... Oh. Oh god. Number 8, Creeps McPasta. What? You have the fucking sexiest voice on the planet! Number seven, creeps work. Without a doubt, the biggest hypocrite in the creepypasta community. He lacks creativity, and I'm pretty sure he has an IQ of 10 based off his problems with series. He calls people out, but most of the time he can't muster up a good story himself. He supposedly called out the bullshit of other narrators, but I don't know what he's smoking because Wellham Productions and Creeps Reading haven't done anything wrong. Number six, King Spook. How the fuck do you expect me to watch all this? Number five, Creepy Bookworm. Voice is so fucking sexy. Number four, Dead Josie or Dead Jose, whatever it is. Never watch her stuff, but her name alone is gay. Number three, Muji. Well, if you listen closely to his narrations, oh wait, there is no narrations. The music and the stories are so loud and powerful you can't even hear his voice, and he doesn't even title the video after the creepypasta, he titles it after the song. What a fucking moron. Number two is the Seeker Alexis has some of the worst fucking thumbnails in the fucking planet, and her audio was way too loud. When you finally turn down the shit tone to finally hear something normal, it has the god most awful voice acting with little to no flow. Fun fact, she was also one of Hitler's right-hand men and had a lot to do with the invasion of Poland. And number one. Number one goes to the creepypasta wizard. He is the worst narrator ever. He is the bane of existence, period. He will narrate a terrible lost episode of Video Game Pasta just to get a fat paycheck and to appeal to little 12-year-old kids who are easily frightened and stereotyped. He consistently ignores his fans and often burns them at the stake if they subscribe. He doesn't put his heart and his soul into editing and doesn't even try with his crappy pasta series. Do you want to know how evil this guy is? He is so evil, he spammed the dank face to one of his best friends until he killed himself. What a twist! Uh -oh.